Welcome, Dragon Lords. I am back with another episode of Tropico 5. And it's campaign time. The best time of any year. So, I went through off the screen and increased the pay on all of my uh, happiness stations, so hopefully that should be enough to win me the election. But it's not a good idea to leave that stuff to chance because it's an instant lose condition. So entertainment and uh, healthcare are my weakest, well, arguably, I mean, they're the easiest to raise, that's what I should say, um, ratings, so I can build another clinic and then maybe something for entertainment. Opera houses are actually pretty good if they have the three penny opera upgrade. They're, at le they're just as good as restaurants, I think better, except that they employ fewer people. They do need a higher education level, though. That is slightly unfortunate, but... Oh well. And you, I would like to get yellow press, but don't have the money right now. Just exported some cloth. I mean, yeah. I think. Okay, President, way in the red. Edward Iceman has uh, the Area 52 files, but... To deal with the spies. Am I stealing technologies right now? Yes. Oh, that's right, and I'm allied with the Axis. Well, not technically allied, but I'm aligned with the Axis. So. Still only 42. I'm hoping that'll go up, because I don't really want to have to declare martial law, but I'll do it. I'm crazy. What's Liberty looking like? It's still not very good. I mean, they have 125 effectiveness. You'd think they'd be doing better. Uh, can I do anything? No, because the sensitivity training isn't until World War. Or Cold War era. Yeah, this still isn't very good. Because my church service quality is still only 67. Upper house service quality is pretty up there. Pretty high up there. But it can only serve 60 visitors, unfortunately. That's pretty negligible. Crime safety, at least, is still excellent. And liberty will hopefully go up, I guess. I mean, I could try, like, raising wages everywhere, but that'd be expensive and probably not very useful. What else can I do to raise my approval rating? Well, oh, I hello complete there. quests. The world is at war, President. Uh, but none of these quests now give that me we have faction the revolution. Oh, this one does. But I think the communists already like me. Oh, no. Not as much as they could. Oh, tons of money suddenly. Where is it from? Did I complete a quest? I don't know. But I just got like $30,000. Ah, that would be where it's from. Rum, of course. So, another opera house because those are good, and I might even build another clinic out of desperation. And then I also want a canned goods factory, so I can't afford a power plant yet, but soon. Do I have... I have a pineapple and coffee plantation. don't have wharves, though. Oh no, I do. Good. So, as soon as... Still no fish population here, though. That's weird. I feel like I cancelled that quite a while ago, and there should be fish now. But I'm definitely going to have to declare martial law! Oh boy. This is kinda scary. Uh, kiss up to the axis a bit more. Well, maybe I don't need to. I'll just do a delegation, and then that way next time I can praise the allies. Although I do apparently need a... Oh, well that's an easy one. I apparently need a second embassy. Didn't realize I don't have one. Hang on, is my lumber mill doing anything? Oh, yes. I do have one logging camp over here, and that one has reforestation. So I don't need to worry about it running out. Good. Lumber mill always seems to use up logs faster than a single logging camp can supply them, though. So, not ideal. Still lots more citizens than I know what to do with. 22. Yeah, that's kind of not good. 
Um, next big export should allow me to build, yep, power plant. And then after that, I can move on to cannery. Cannery row. Great, that cloth should give me like $8,000. That'll be enough for a military building, so I have to worry slightly less about the martial law. Um, actually, I'm just going to build a, no, a barracks on top of this, because I already have lots of, un lots of unemployed people. I actually have a college, oddly enough. I'm not sure why it's not enough to um, educate all my people. Also, I have lots of unemployed people, I don't know. Well, I guess colleges can only take 10 students at a time, so that would explain why it's not enough by itself. So basically, I have all of my happiness almost as maxed out as it can be, except for, I suppose, housing, but housing's really expensive all of the time. Um, what if I turn on tight quarters? Is that worth it? No, not really. Oh, I completed... Oh, they had no new technologies. Right! But that does complete these stolen technologies, though, fortunately. That's good. Didn't realize that. Where's my embassy? Ah, over here. And hurry up on the power plant. I want those cannery. Cannery. Hey, Fisher back to moderate. That's good. Whoa, why did it get dark all of a sudden? There's no it's never nighttime in Tropico? What are you talking about? So 47 overall happiness. Any way I can improve my militarists or religious standing? Um prohibition, but I have a rum distillery, so that would not be worthwhile. Uh, I have literacy program, mortgage subsidies, I guess, but it's kind of expensive. Yeah, none of these are really that great. I mean, tax cut, I guess, would still be good. It would help me win an election, but I'm not sure it would be very useful in the long term. And it's also very expensive. Come on. My... Disaster relief funded. Congratulations, Presidente. Oh, look. Socialism. New clinic, again. Well, that's still fine, because I need four of them to supply the 400 people on my island. So, although that, that's odd. This one doesn't seem to have 100 people in it. I wonder why. I'm going to put it... I don't know. Where could it be where more people are? want to put it where the people are. Over here, maybe? I don't know. Building lots of things right now. Construction agency is kind of overtaxed. Do I even have a second one? Oh, yes, I do. That's good. Might as well invite the allies. Make the Axis a little bit unhappy, but not that much. One of our agents were killed? Oh dear. But apparently that still completes the Stolen Technologies quest. That's interesting. I didn't realize that. Comrade Hello. Presidente, I fear that the revolution's Ooh, agenda is threatened. That is so perfect. I really need to do something. President, um, it would I really want to get rid of this one. Well, hello How there, old... about this? Oh, I don't want to get rid of any of these. Um, maybe I'll just cancel the clinic for now, and once I finish the Stolen Technologies quest in five months, I will take that and build a clinic. Hurry up. I'm so close to cannery. I can almost taste it. Haha, <laughs> get it, can't- what? Wait, how is it down to fish population of none? I haven't been fishing at all recently. Because I turned off the wharf. What? I'm confused. Apparently I just have no idea how fish work. They like come and go for no readily apparent reason. And I have no idea what to do. 
basically Fisher a fickle creature. Oh, there we go. That's enough, and or that's finished, so I can build my cannery. Needs 90 power, we should have it pretty soon. And fortunately, I have lots of unemployed people, so... And how many months? Two months. I just hope this doesn't go away in the meantime, because that would be really, really annoying. And I guess since I'm about to have people, I might as well. I might, I'm about to have a cannery. Don't go away, please. Oh wait, again. this pauses the game. Darn. I want to dedicate this next song to my ex-boyfriend Reggie, who left me to join Stick the around. army because I quote, "They'll treat me better than." Come on, Presidente. Come on, this is so important for me. Come on, Presidente. I... Zero months. Uh, don't leave, don't leave. Come on, Presidente. I feel that. I don't know if clicking on it actually like makes it stick around longer, but I hope it does. Yes, stolen technology, three of three. Well, it doesn't actually say three of three, but it left. So, I can take the clinic, stole lots of money for some reason, but now I can actually build a clinic, and this might be a more useful spot, and I don't think it'll make the rich people as mad. Speaking of which, do I actually have any rich people? Uh, I have a couple. Enough that I can raise this to, well, I don't think I can do Filthy Rich. Well, I do have 12, and I only have 3 mansions. So, I'll see... Well, they probably don't work around here, so... I'm not going to do that. Hey! Oh, that's right, I forgot to put a road down below you. And then, so new clinic, foreign spies, export fruit, export canned goods, all sorts of good stuff, and lots of money also. Lots and lots of money, with which I shall bribe some spies, why not? Ay, caramba! Bribe you, you're from the Allies, Good one evening. Axis and one Good Ally evening. spy. Hola. Good evening. There we go. Sabotage and allies and sabotage to Axis uh, operation. Um, I have lots of people still, and I'm about to get 10 college educated people from my clinic quest. So I think opening that up, yeah, because now I have more open jobs than I have. To all my fellow tropicans people. affected by the electrical shortages that seem to be plaguing Tropico at the moment. Hey, don't be so gloomy. I'm sure you can find lots of fun Ooh. things to do in the dark. I know I can. I don't know exactly what is raising my happiness so much. Oh, it's the 15 communist factions relations. Communists are the large, well, second largest faction on the island. Um, in fact, the real religious people are really large and really unhappy with me. So, I'm not really sure what to do about that. I have some more money. I think I'm going to arrest some of you for the 25 spies dealt with quest. Good evening. Javier. Or Javier. How do you pronounce that? Name? At your service. I think it's Javier. Arrest some random people. Get my approval up. Take the Erdogan uh, uh, approach. Well, except that these aren't really random people. They're people who are plotting against me. And I think I pronounced his name wrong. Wow, that was like a political joke gone horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> political satire at its worst. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. Okay, so now that I have the barracks, I can probably get rid of my military fort. Um, I'm just gonna why? That's not a good thing to be doing. Um, get rid of these, and instead expose secrets. In fact, well, yeah. I'll expose secrets first, and then I think I might even expose secrets against the Axis, because exposing secrets doesn't decrease your relations with the people you exposed. Oh, and over 51%, so 
approval, so I should be able to win an election, especially if I raise all of my time. stuff. We've just had a new entry in our most annoying sound in Tropico tournament from the newly constructed lumberman. Uh, I just reading that. It was sound. there for like that was like there for twenty years. Why are you suddenly getting annoyed at it? Oh wow, log debarker. I forgot about, about that. That's really, really According useful. to the manual, the next step in building Ooh. a so That would be nice. Cuz I actually need almost exactly that. Of course, I already have two high schools and no money. So, not yet, but soon. Lots of money about to come in. I should be able to build a high school with that. Um except a lot of this is from the cloth. Oh yeah. So, I'm gonna need a specialty trade ship to come in. Although I'm about to get my relations, or my foreign aid, so that should pay for a high school. Hey, actually using foreign aid for something that foreign aid is supposed to be used for instead of my military, or like cracking down on dissidents or something. I think putting your high schools apart from each other is actually useful because I'm not sure about this, but it's possible that students will only go to high schools within a certain range of their house, or maybe with it. well, no, it's not of their job because students never have jobs for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, it's possible that they uh, have a certain range from their house and won't go beyond that. Ooh, no! Can I sell more cloth to someone? No! This is terrible! It's a travesty! Oh dear. Yeah, I don't have anything I can export now. Well, that was a very profitable trade route, so I'm sad it's gone. And fruit I'm still working on. I think the only fruit I have is pineapples. And now I have a cannery. So that's not optimal. Um, but let's see, meat I think I have somewhere, don't I? The goat ranch, that's for milk. Llamas for wool. And then don't I have one more meat? Um. Oh, I don't. Interesting. Well, I should build one then. Did you know that it is considered bad etiquette to steal the silver? How interesting. Failed to complete an operation. Of course, it's only at like a 76% success rate. <sighs> um, so basically, allies hate us. I think I'd better get used to that. Um, so steal money. I can maybe use the money to build a... Uh, what's it called? Army base. Still There's only trouble with our new high school. Ooh, Comrade increased Resident religious Day? standing. You they are the biggest in. group on the island. I definitely want that. And church, well, I mean, slightly more useful than the others, probably. I don't think I really need this anymore. So, I'm fine with just trashing it. And you have 20 high school educated immigrants. So that should fill up pretty much all the jobs on my island. In fact, literally all of them. Uh, except for a couple of college ones, which hopefully people will be able to migrate out of. So now I need a lot more jobs. And yeah, that brought me up to 57% approval rating. Well, not approval, but... Uh, well, yeah, I guess that is approval. Come on! Oh, and I don't even have the money for it. Whoops. I did not mean to press that button. There we go. Money back. The world is at war. Sure, I'm about to. I was about to build that anyways, so definitely worthwhile. The revolution is its own reward. Two more free tenements, cause tenements are great. You can upgrade them into apartments, and they have lots and lots of space. So where do I have the most shacks? Well, there's a couple over here. That should work. Oh, I thought someone had just destroyed that. Nope, I did. So I suppose someone did. And just created even more unemployed people on my island. Excellent. Let's see. Yeah. Whoa! 
49. Great okay, time. that's Tropical not spy. very good. Um, but, as long as I can get my textile mill back up, there's an upgrade for the textile mill that uses an additional six workers. So that'll start plugging into it. Plugging in? Working into it. Um, and then pigs for the cannery upgrade. Do I have the cannery thing? Yes, I already did. We have an opportunity to influence the Definitely don't need any election fraud, which actually means I can reset everything back to default. Hooray! I finally won an election without, like, resorting to, uh, martial law. Wait, what am I looking for? Oh yeah, clinics, newspaper, uh, police station. Lots of happiness buildings on this island. Comrade President, my socialist. I think I already have. Already, don't I? Oh no. And seriously, of course I failed. It's only a 76% chance, and I failed on the past four. The election results are in. <laughs> wow. That is quite improbable. Uh, no wonder the allies hate me. I would probably hate me too. I'd have to say. Man, this is, like, where I get all of my money, pretty much. Get the vast majority. Um, I don't know why I'm building the army base first, because that's Boom. not a higher priority. Boy. A new mine I can do. I can do it on the iron mine, or even the bauxite mine. Um, and then I can just shut down the iron mine until I actually want to use it, because iron is quite useful for vehicle... well, for steel, which can even be used to make vehicles, which vehicles are basically the most profitable thing in the game. And apparently I can't connect this anywhere useful. I guess down here. That was an inconveniently placed intersection. Now we have exported the revolution. Ooh, it is housing quality above 40. I don't think that's ever going to happen. Now we have so, housing quality is always really hard. I basically just wait until the modern era and then go all out on um, massive um, operation code names. The whole shebang. On, if I may put it so uh, modern departments. For help have Support the allies so they hopefully don't invade me. Hundred days offensive battle of Amines. That doesn't. I've never heard of that. Now we have exported like it, the revolution. I um, but fire brigade I can afford in tons and tons of money. So quick build everything, get the upgrades, hurry up on this. Why are you so slow? You're still at 53%. It's been a long time. Actually, I probably shouldn't be wasting money like that so extravagantly. And I can bribe a couple of spies, and then arrest the rest. Ha 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 ha. At your service. You've already been arrested. Hola. Whoops. I think I bribed ay, someone ay, who was ay. in prison. That's not really a very good idea. Hmm? So everyone else get in jail. Ay, caramba. It's a party in there. Amigo. Hi, how can I be of help? I'm gonna increase your pay because you don't seem to be very effective. And then some new mine, fire brigade, I already did. Uh, foreign spies I'm working on. Exporting fruit, I really don't have any of. And actually, I need a lot more jobs right now, preferably illiterate ones. So who is not working? Despite. Having plenty of jobs, job opportunities. Oh, people down here, looks like, um, don't want to go all the way up to get jobs, probably. So if I put some here, that should solve the problem. Bananas? Eh, that actually works, but I didn't even need that road. Now we have well, exported I mean, the revolution. I suppose I might as well take this, but 
I don't think I'm ever going to get housing quality above 40. Housing is just so ridiculous. I mean, I mean, 156, so that's like 15 tenements. I suppose if I get a big burst of money at some point again, I can just go on a tenement spree and use the urban development. Urban development is like one of the most important edicts in the game. Oh, that's right, the log debarker. Very, very useful. And then when I get my next big shipment from up here, which is apparently where everything valuable in the entire island goes, so there's not even really any point in having these other docks. Um, but did I get selective breeding? Because I should have. Yes, good. 193 effectiveness. Nice. Well, hello. How are my allies' relations? Still pretty bad. Um, I'm gonna work on exposing secrets now. Um, that, wow, axes are actually pretty hard to spy on. So, I'm gonna work on the allies first. Of course, pretty much everything I've done against the allies has failed, I think. Oh, hey, except for that last one. Operation Steal Money. I'm glad we give our operations such clever code names. <laughs> They'll never figure out what Great that one is. is Uh-oh. Soup. Ooh, is my cannery causing a problem? Oh, and workshop expansion. Nice. Or acrylic dyes. Or both. Why not? And now, obviously, it's minus 100 workers because of workers, um, but I have lots of workers, I just need to get them into the job, which they should filter in over time. I don't know, maybe if I, like, I mean, find where they live. I know so. where you Good live. Day. Um, and just, like, demolish all their homes, that tends to be a good way to get people to go to work. I love being a dictator. That is not a s sentence I would normally be able to say, but it makes perfect sense! Oop. Our brave more quests! Soldiers are... <gasps> must, more, must have more quests! More quests! More quests! <laughs> Sorry. Um, anywhere else? Oh, pigs actually do well here, not just acceptably. Oh, and I'm working this mine. I don't want to do that. Come on! I keep arresting you guys. What are? You, how are you still doing this? Arresting or bribing you? Actually. Hola. I know where almost all of you are. Hola. I think. Well, actually, I guess I can't tell that. Um, the only real way to tell what percentage of people you've been able to find is with the um, Big Brother edict. Or like secret cameras or something like that. I forget what it's called. That reveals two thirds of the people with um, special roles that you haven't discovered. So you can say, well, take that, multiply it by 1.5, and that's how many people are there total. Aside from that, you can't really tell. I am now going to rethink my life and the choice. Hola, tropicals! Ooh, last night things got a bit wild between Marco and I. Ooh, but salvage. I assure you, the but only I don't think that salvage is actually really is worth it, because I think it costs more to rebuild it than that you gain from Comrade Presidente, Tropical socialism is Ooh, almost complete. Ministry of Information for three free tenements. That would be useful. And if I had had a ministry... Actually, I think I did have a ministry of information last time. Huh, I wonder why people revolted. <laughs> it's almost like they didn't like being fed propaganda constantly through state-sanctioned news outlets. President, as you know... Ooh, military drills. That's a nice one to do anyways. Especially because of the timing. In December, I can ally with the Axis. Ironically. Nice. Exposed secrets. So now I can expose the Axis's secrets. And get some allies relations. And if I don't succeed, well, it's not 
the end of the world because the Axis already likes me pretty well. Now, oh, Alliance, I, I should be able to win um, with my barracks. Oh, maybe not. Um, but I do have military drills, and at least all of my buildings are manned fully. So, this should be enough, I think. I hope, <laughs> especially with the personal death squad, because I have very Surrender high quality um, troops now, although I didn't get any upgrades. Whoopsies. Also, isn't this unlocked? Oh no, Cold War. War is Are you doing any damage? On the oh, that's right, and I do also have the forges. I was wondering, like, wait, why don't I have any other build? Today. Build, you know what military that means, buildings, because I thought I'd already built one, but yeah. Fortress probably doesn't do much damage. I'm Come guessing it's just like a giant guard tower, where guard towers don't do a ton of damage, they do some, especially if you have lots of them right next to each other, but the main advantage is that they take a long time to destroy, so it just delays enemies while your troops get close and or, um, fight them. So hopefully the fortress will last quite a while. Ideally, I think it'll last long enough that my troops will actually be able to get there. Yeah. Okay, that was actually pretty easy. Easier than I thought it would be. Sure, why not? Help my job happiness a little bit. Oh, and Ministry of Information. I think I have enough for that. Yeah. Put it far away because it has a massive reduction to liberty, but it is only within a certain range. So, and it's a pretty huge range, but I don't think that, like, I think it should only come out to maybe here, so at least all of these people don't feel the liberty effects. Although, pff, they already have terrible liberty anyways, so... That wasn't the greatest idea after all. I suppose I could change it, but I'm too lazy. Hey, exposed secrets, and now everybody loves everybody. Well, except the allies still kind of hate me, but they hate me slightly less. Oh, way in dead again. It's like a really spiky... Not spiky, but like, um, really swing my, <laughs> wow, my money really swings around from low to high and back. But this will bring us to the end of this episode. Thank you all for watching, and, oh, I have to deal with that later. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!